Hello everyone! I am so excited for today's video. Today I'm unboxing the DX Nandroid of my beloved Wei Wuxian and La Wanji from the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. I am sorry in advance for my pronunciation. I haven't practiced my pinyin pronunciation in a while. But this video definitely motivated me to get back to it. I am not a Nandroid collector. <laughs> I only have one other Nendoroid, and that was a gift from my dear friend. These Wangxian Nendoroids are the first ones that I purchased myself. No surprise there, because I cannot resist anything Wangxian related. I think these were originally released in 2020. I had just joined the fandom then and completely missed the window to order. On the resale market, they were often sold for hundreds of dollars. So I regretfully accepted my fate of never owning them. Last year, Good Smile Company announced they were re-releasing them in a DX version. DX basically means that the base is the same, but there are new accessories on top of the original ones. How exciting, but also how overwhelming. There were so many pieces to keep track of. This whole process, however, was actually very therapeutic. It was time-consuming and tedious, but I liked focusing my attention on something so small yet so precious. I filmed this entire video during a very slow day at work. I just grabbed all the pieces and brought them to my desk, and I had a lot of fun playing around. It was really hard for me to pick up tiny pieces like their cute little hands with my grubby fingers, and that definitely also slowed me down. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I also had to stop and coo over how freaking adorable everything was. I wasn't sure what was the most effective way to show off these dendroids. Would people prefer to see close-ups of each part, even the microscopic ones? What I decided on is modeling different combinations and creating different Wangxian scenes for you. Just saying that out loud makes me feel so excited. Up first, some solo shots of each character. When I saw Chen Qing, I lost it. How cute! Can you believe that Wei Wuxian controlled his horde of corpses with this adorable flute? It's absolutely precious. The man himself also looks very adorable. I have always been a fan of his high ponytail, and it looks extra bouncy in Nendoroid form. Of course, our perfect Han Guangzi needs to look as regal as possible. I know he's actually quite funny and full of charm, but I really like seeing him look super serious. Especially like this. Look at those cute cheekies! These nandroids actually remind me a lot of Moda Zushi Q, which is the chibi animation of the series. I also love the cute Bichun, and of course I had to make him hold it. Since we never get to see Lan Wangji without his forehead ribbon, I thought we at least deserve to see his nendoroid without it. I know, how scandalous! I also love that we got a tiny version of his Guqin as well. Overall, he just looks so handsome. <laughs> Lastly, for characters, I cannot forget the star of the DX nendoroids, Xiao Ping Guo, or Little Apple the Donkey. I love how the rain is actually made of fabric. It's such a nice textural contrast from the plastic with everything else. Now that I've introduced the main cast, let's have some fun! It would not be Wang Xian without Wei Wuxian teasing Lan Wangji. I was so excited to try out this alternate forehead ribbon where it looks like it's coming undone. This poor man. It's a struggle. If you notice his hand, he's actually holding a little paper man. The story I've created here is that Wei Wuxian threw the little paper man to distract Lan Wangji in order to tug on his ribbon. Not canonical exactly, but I think the essence of this couple is there. I also really love this Wei Wuxian faceplate. The tongue sticking out is so playful and it fits him so well. I present to you a Wangxian boat date. I thought the lotus pod was such a cute accessory, and I'm sure that Wei Wuxian would agree that this is the perfect gift to give your adorable date. Did he steal this one? Did he not? He's not going to tell. 
I also really love this Lan Wangji faceplate. He's so flustered and blushy, and it's shocking for Wei Wuxian to see his Lan Wangji be so openly cute. Next, I present to you Date Night Part 2. This time, Lan Wangji has given Wei Wuxian a jar of his favorite emperor smile. I've said this time and time again, but all of the accessories included are just so cute. This little jar is giving me life. I also love this tiny flower that Lan Wangji is holding. Can you tell that I really love both of these faceplates? I love seeing Wei Wuxian have fun because he's just so vibrant and fun himself. And I love seeing Lan Wangji flustered because we mere mortals are not privy to such a sight. But in Nendroid form, anything is possible. And the final pose. Perhaps the sweetest of them all is Wei Wuxian riding Little Apple. But the extra sweet part here is Lan Wangji holding the reins for him. I love this so much. It reminds me of when Wei Wuxian reminisced about his parents. And this is probably my favorite faceplate of his. He deserves to be always smiling. I'm not sure if this is the expression that Lan Wangji would make in the situation. I mostly just wanted to try this face out. I think the overall vibe though is super sweet. Sunshine, sunshine protector, and his cute donkey companion. Just imagine them riding off into the sunset together. And that brings us to the end of this video. I am still reeling from the cuteness. These final poses are my favorite of the bunch, so I think I'm going to keep them like this for now. I have so much respect for people who actually collect nendoroids. How do you do it? All of it. And also, how do I be like you? I had a lot of fun playing with my nendoroids, and I hope you had fun watching. I hope today was kind to you, and that you were kind to yourself. See you next time.